Coyotes Hockey on Fox Sports Arizona is fueled by Nito Tires, the most innovative and stunning tires on the road today. Buy Papa John's. Get 50% off at Papa John's the day after a Coyotes win. Promo code COYOTES at PapaJohns.com. Buy Sanderson Ford. The best play is at Sanderson Ford. And buy Taco Bell. Sometimes you've got to live months. Welcome back. Music City, Nashville, Tennessee, as the Coyotes get set to take on the Nashville Predators. Let's take a look at the starters right here between the pipes tonight. Uh, Thomas Grice goes for the Phoenix Coyotes, 9-7-5, and and this is 24th game played. Goals against of 236. Pecorine tonight uh, for the Nashville Predators. He's 8-10-3 with a goals against of 279. The referees for this one, Dave Jackson and Tom Cowell, and the linesman, Andy McKelman and Pierre Rassico. And here we go, Tyson, down to the final three. Dallas, yeah, they're two points ahead, but the Coyotes have three games left. Dallas with two. Coyotes, they control their own destiny, win out, and they are in. Well, and this is a team that feels very fortunate. We talked about that in the opening of the show. After you lose five straight games at this time of the year, to still be in the hunt, to get that last and final playoff spot, it's a team very motivated here tonight, businesslike this morning. Coyotes coming off that overtime loss in Columbus on Tuesday night. Columbus then hopped the plane and went to Dallas last night and took a uh, care of business for the Coyotes, uh, defeating the Stars. We'll see what unfolds here tonight. Dallas is idle. They will play tomorrow night at home against the St. Louis Blues. And Oliver ekman Larson will bring it along, and the Coyotes will look to get it out. We'll pass along the scratches momentarily as the puck will be played in behind the net, as you can see it scrolling across the top of your screen. And this one in on Rene, and that's steered away. Well, this is a very loose team, the Nashville Predators. Eliminated the other day from playoff contention. All smiles this morning. They're going to be playing for pride here tonight. Played all the way back, and Jeff Halpern's going to chase this one down as both teams look to go for shift changes. Oliver ekman Larson will bring it out, and the Coyotes will look to move it along through the neutral zone. And this one played deep in behind Pecorine. Had to let it go. Martin Erat playing in his 800th game, and the former Predator can't keep the zone as it's played back through center. Back it over the line, the red-hot Patrick Hornquist. He got upended, and the Coyotes will set it up as Michael Stone will bring it along the center for Kyle Chipchura. Chipchura back it over the line, looking for room, and he got a shot away, and Rene steers that into the corner. Good pinch into the corner by Keith Yandel, and the puck will be played in behind the net. Martin Erat's got to be fired up, spent most of his career here as a member of the Nashville Predators as Erat will work it down low, and right there was Erat, but he can't put it home. A oh, crazy shot there by Redeem Verbata. That puck was bouncing, took a big hop. Shane Doan couldn't get a handle on it. Antoine Vermette, he's been so good throughout the season for the Coyotes. Tried to get one down low, but it's taken away, and now Doan will pick it off as he looks to get it to the corner for Bodker. Bodker, Vermette, Doan out there right now for the Coyotes. As Bodker will work it in behind the net. Gets it out high. Doan, and he fanned on a shot. Played down low in the corner. Summers and a glove save there. Rene as it rolls off his glove. And the Predators will set it up. Well, the key to Pekka Rene is shooting at his, at his feet. A lot like a, a lot of big goaltenders. You want to create those second and third opportunities, you have to put it at the pillows, right at the pads. He catches everything with that glove as well. Out of the zone, and Mike Rivera will get one deep for the Coyotes. Played in behind, and Ed Moss tries to take it away from Rene. And out of the corner it goes. Back to center ice, and Mike Rivera will settle it down. So yeah, like, the Coyotes setting it up. Yeah, I like the urgency here right now out of the Coyotes. Getting that puck in deep, going to work, forcing Nashville into some turnovers. Three shots so far in the hockey game. They all belong to the Coyotes. This nice room set one in. Played in behind the net. Gabriel Bork trying to make things happen for the Predators. Taken away by McCulloch. And the Coyotes will get it back to center ice. Eric Nystrom's had a nice season here in Nashville. As it'll be moved along by Ellis. And back through center ice. Deflected deep that time by Paul Gostad. Thomas Grice steers it around. Coyotes look to get it out. Halpern out there right now with Klinkhammer and Korpakoski. Good key to the line by Ellis. It'll be played in behind the net. Sabinic McCulloch looking to move it along. And Ellis couldn't keep it the right point. As putting on pressure is Klinkhammer, and he'll bring it right back in. Rob Klinkhammer drops it. Yandel got one towards the net, and that just went wide. Played back of the line. Stone unloads a shot, and that goes over the top of the Nashville cage. Coyotes wasting no opportunities. Everything is going to the front of the net. 
It's been an emphasis over the last week or so is Ellis now at the end of a long shift will get it to the front and that's turned away. The Coyotes will look to pick this one off and it's moved along by Klinkhammer and up the ice. A real good shift there by Klinkhammer showing his speed, big body. We always talk about him being a straight line player. This rumbles down that left side. Make a lot of room for his teammates. Delayed offside against Nashville. Summers now to play it there for Derek Morris. And he sends it in behind the net. Summers now back to center ice. Bodker back out there. He'll send one in. And Rene scoops it up with a glove and he'll get a face off. They're talking about that four check early tonight, Tyson. Here's an example. Yeah, good job working the boards. Mike Hammer gets that puck. Look at the wheels on him. This blows right by the Predators defenseman gets to that loose puck. That's what hockey is all about. Just winning those little foot races, the board battles, the little victories all over the ice. Head is going to need to win more than their share here tonight. You look at the season numbers for Klinkhammer. Another pretty solid year, but very inconsistent at times. Urbana gets it in behind the net. That's taken away by Ellis. Good board battle there down low with Martin Erat. It'll be played back to center ice as Yandel hustles it down inside of his own zone. Stone to center for Martin Erat rolled right off the blade of his stick. Yandel picks it off and Verbato the other way for the Coyotes. Over the line, Yandel tries to take a shot that was blocked away defensively by Nashville. And now Verbato trying to work it along. Erat tried to set it up and it's taken away back to center. Michael Stone now for Keith Yandel. And he'll play it along. Right back it over the line. Intended that time for Brandon McMillan. But Ellis will play it in behind that. And now quickly out with it is Seth Jones as this one is sent down the length. And it's a bit McCollum will try to go off the boards. And he clears it all the way back the other way. Victor Bartley in a skate chase with Brandon McMillan as it goes in behind the Nashville net. Good battle. McMillan came in front, but he couldn't pull the trigger. Into the corner for Eric Nystrom, and he'll get one off the ice as this one will go down the length. Another good shift to build off of here by the Coyotes. They're going to have a lot of success tonight. Continuing to get that puck behind the Predators' defense. Taken away by Bork. Countering now, and in over the line with a shot just wide. Another shot, and that rode up. Good looks there for Craig Smith. There's those turnovers we talked about. Every time they turned it over the other night in Columbus, it ended up in the back of the net. Chance and a shot taking that time for Matt and a save off the glove of Pecorine. Well, the coach is in this one for the Phoenix Coyotes. Dave Tibbet, 192 career wins with the Coyotes, 463 overall. And, and Barry Trotz, 554 wins. That puts him 13th all-time in the NHL. He's been the only coach the Predators have had since their inception. They both got the shiny ties on tonight. Yeah. Trotz has got the yellow one, and Dave Tippett has mine from the other night, the blue one. Was he borrowing it? He might have. Check, check my luggage. Into the corner. Jeff Halpern trying to make things happen. Rob Klinkhammer down there as well for the Coyotes. Now Korpikoski will play it in behind the net. Back in the line, Summers good keep there. He'll jam it to the left wing corner. This one popped out in front before it's taken away. And the Predators will set it up. Roman Yossi with it. And now Shea Weber. Roman Yossi getting through traffic. Got it right through the crease. For the line, Weber. Goes down low with it. Coyotes will look to set it up. Kyle Chiptura going in behind the net, getting a bother that time by Nick Spalling. And the puck is played back to center. 13.05 remaining in the opening period. No score tonight from Bridgestone Arena in Nashville. In behind the net and after it. Martin Erat. Always good to come back and play one of your old teams, Tyson. I would imagine Erat's going to have a lot of jump here tonight. He's shown some early here in the first seven and a half, eight minutes of this one. I think Erat's been real good the last three or four games. He's been all over the puck. That's all you can ask for. A big goal the other night in Columbus. Let's hope that gets him going. Back through center ice. Ribeiro chasing after it, but it's taken away. Quick counter here and over the line for Fisher. Shoots and a stop by 
Goaltender Thomas Grice. And back comes McMillan as he hustles it up. Gives it off to Moss with a shot, and that's deflected wide. Into the corner now. Moss. Got it right through the crease. Oh, and that didn't miss by much. Another good shift here by McMillan. Showing his skating ability. He gets in there and causes all sorts of problems. Back it over the line. Ribeiro chasing it down. Now McMillan will pick it up, but we get a whistle here on the offside. Thomas Grice moments ago tested here in Nashville. Mike Fisher can't get it past number one. Goals were direct results of turnovers by the Coyotes. you got to make the simple play, make the right play. He typically does, especially lately, the way Oliver ekman Larson has played. But you got to make it easy on yourself on the road. Just simplify your game. Limit those turnovers and those mistakes. Well, Shane Doan talked about it in Coyotes Live and Todd Walsh referencing the fact that uh, it's just really one play, maybe two plays, and it's the difference in games. As this one is covered up by goaltender of Pecorino. And these are things that head coach Dave Tippett has been working on with his coaching staff, trying to get it out of the, the game, the current game of his the squad here down the stretch. And it's plagued them all year long. You know, and sometimes the goaltender can bail you out, but not the other night in Columbus. And with three games left, they got to tighten everything up. You look how they played in New York, in Pittsburgh, and as well against the New Jersey Devils. That's how they have to get back to playing. Antoine Vermette off the faceoff. This one's going to be poked away, and out of the zone it goes. Back is Smith. Angled off that time. Nice job by Doan. Now the puck will be played in behind the net as Smith will pick it off. And the Predators look to set something up in behind the net with Gostad. He comes in front in a battle there as Gabriel Bork will go after it. So the Predators get something going here before it's knocked away, and a Mikel Bobker will try to get it out. And Yandel to the rescue. Very patient Keith Yandel as he flips it along, and Michael Stone back to center. Will cross center right and center went in on Rene. Played into the corner where Martin Erat will get it in behind the net. Rudin Verbata going after it. Now Erat. And this one's taken away and out of the zone for Hornquist. Trying to get around the defenders, but it's picked off there. And guess who? Oliver ekman Larson. Oh, how about that job? Two real good defensive plays. One by Shane Doan and that last one by Oliver ekman Larson. Just picks the pocket, I believe, of Hornquist. Martin Erat sends it in, but Verbata offside, so we'll get a face off. Well, it's all about that support in layers. Keith Yandel gets beat on the blue line. Look at the work by the captain, Shane Doan. Hustles back, eliminates that opportunity, and then Oliver Ekman Larson doesn't take the body. He's just waiting. He's looking. He's waiting for an opportunity to lift the stick and snatch that puck and go the other way. I got to believe, too, when Yandel decided to make that pinch, he knew he had support going the other way. As this one is played in by Pecorine. Good read and react there. As it's played around and holding on to it is Rivero. He'll chip it down low. Into the corner now for Dave Moss. Now he's trying to get a cycle game going here. Rivero now in the left wing corner and it pops free. Moss tried to get a shot away and that hit the outside of the net. Board battle and a lock up along the right wing boards before it's cleared to center. And more of that good support. That time Moss back in the neutral zone. Yeah, Derek Morris able to pinch on that play because Dave Moss is in a perfect position. Dolan's going to take this one away. Works it down low to Ribeiro. Now Ribeiro in behind the net. Trying to leave it there for Brandon McMillan. And this one will be taken away. And Cali Yarncroak will try to get it out as the Predators now set it up with Seth Jones. Jones being harassed that time by Shane Doan. Doan will take it away. It's the exact same play Oliver ekman Larson had. He was waiting for Seth Jones to start stick handling on the right side of his body, lifts the stick, and tries to go the other way. Remember that play against Johnny Oduya a couple of years ago in the playoffs in Chicago. Resulted in a goal as this one has moved along and Horn, or excuse me, Bork, oh. I couldn't keep, and the puck is played out. We'll step out. No score tonight in Nashville. Todd Walsh back here in Nashville. You guys were talking about Martin Erat earlier playing in his 800th career game here tonight. Bit of irony coming back to, to Nashville. He said he didn't know about that until somebody brought it up this morning. But 
It was interesting to hear him talk about the fact that he has only seen his family a, a handful of times. They've only been in Phoenix a, a few days since the trade back at deadline. Saw him in the lobby upon our arrival late yesterday afternoon from Columbus with his family in tow. But I love what Dave Tippett said about him, that the last few games he's looked like the Martin Erat that we used to see here in Nashville that drove the Coyotes nuts so strong with and on the puck. Well, he's one of those guys, too, Todd, that they need over the last three games. We talk a lot about top six forwards, and, and that's why it was so encouraging the other night, even though they lost in overtime at Columbus, uh, getting uh, that production, that offensive production out of the top six guys. Yeah, the right guys. Mike Ribeiro in particular, Redeem Verbot, I got on the score sheet. Shane Young with a big goal. That's going to continue the rest of the way. You look at what Dallas has done with Sagan and Jamie Benn. They need their big boys here in Phoenix to step up as well. In behind the net, Jeff Halpern went after it, but it's played to the corner, and the Predators will get it up the ice back through center. That time Colin Wilson got picked, and so Rob Klinkhammer right back in over the line before he gets picked by Wilson. Back up the ice comes Nashville. And over the line, but a strip that time by Shane Dolan. Boy, is he flying here tonight, Tyson. Oh, is he ever. Been really good defensively, but look out here. Turnover. Dolan this time can't move it along. It goes into the corner. Colin Wilson all over it. And now Shane Dolan again back to get it. He sends through the neutral zone. Now Shane Dolan is a guy that, because he's the best leader, one of the best leaders in the game, he's a guy that leads by example. Ocker moves it along, and Morris back to center ice. Dolan at the end of a long shift. Now Chris Summers, and he'll bring it out. He gets it across center, and he'll dump one in. Five shots for the Coyotes, three for the Predators. Over about the first 12 minutes of this hockey game. Taken away here. An opportunity, but it goes offside. Well, the last Pepsi Family Pack night is Saturday night at 6 p.m. when the Coyotes host the Sharks. Get your lower-level tickets, four hot dogs, and four Pepsis for just $199. Purchase yours now at phoenixcoyotes.com or 480-563-PUCK. And again, if the Coyotes win out, they're in. If they lose tonight, they're going to need some help in the form of the St. Louis Blues tomorrow night when they meet up with the Dallas Stars. So there, there's still multiple scenarios, but the bottom line, win out, just win, baby. We talk about it, Al Davis hockey. We kind of joke about it, uh, but that is the quickest way uh, to get to the postseason for the Coyotes. And... Well, they haven't done themselves any favor no. going on their worst losing streak of the season, losing five straight, but then Dallas hasn't taken advantage of it. Right now it's who wants it the most? Does anyone want it? Just got to win. And Dallas losing last night to Columbus on home ice. Uh, it was the suspended game that was restarted due to the, the Rich Peverly incident. In that game, they had a power play with about 11 and a half, 12 minutes to go in the third period. And Lindy Ruff, give him credit. He pulled his goaltender to get a two-man advantage. Talk about guts, and it paid off. They scored, but... Well, not even guts. It's just about smarts. I mean, they, they don't care whether it's... It's 3-0. You don't care right. if it's 4, 5, 6 nothing. You got you to gotta win that hockey game. It really gave Dallas a lift, and they dominated play in the uh, second half of that game, but Columbus was able to win it. And the Blue Jackets lock, locked up a playoff spot. Out of the zone it goes, back to center. Tipped along that time by Ribeiro. And Seth Jones with it inside of his own zone. Meanwhile, back through center ice, playing it along is Eric Nystrom. Sends it in behind the net. Opportunity out high, Seth Jones working it down low. And now Nystrom with it. Nice little move there that gets picked off and it's cleared back to center. Seth Jones, and he'll dump one right back in. Coyotes look to bring it along, and they do. Flip back to center. Taken away that time. Big collision there involving Lori Korpakoski. And taken away by Matt Cullen. Here comes Nashville as they'll dump one in. Thomas Grice out to play it. Goes high off the glass. Hornquist intercepts. And around the boards for Mike Fisher. Behind the net now. They try to get it in front. Look at that time for Hornquist. He's been red hot. Ellis with a wraparound, side of the net. Price got that one. And it's chipped along off the glass and over and out of play. We'll step out. Five and a half remaining in the first. Well, Shane Doan is flying tonight, Tyson. Yeah, he's leading by example. He knows the magnitude of this game. Look at the ground he covers here to get back and help out his goaltender, Thomas Grice, again defensively. 
Dave Tippett harped on this this morning, I'm sure after the game in Columbus, and again before this game here in Nashville. They have to tighten up defensively. Nobody knows that more than Shane Doan, and he is getting it done. Faceoff comes outside the zone as you look at Doan's numbers. Vermette, Doan, and Bach are back out there for head coach Dave Tippett. Right along, and Doan will take it away, and he gets it out. Three on two, maybe, for the Coyotes, as this one will bounce over the stick of uh, Antoine Vermette, but a good keep there by Doan. And now Bodker will race after it. Plays it in behind the net for Doan. Now Doan trying to go backhand. Got one through the crease, but unable to put it home that time was Bodker. And the Coyotes are going to have to capitalize here tonight. Nashville is a lot like the Coyotes. They do not give you much. No. You're going to have to earn for every inch and every opportunity. Make sure you bury those opportunities when you get them. Now the Coyotes have gone almost six minutes without a shot on goal. And right back in. Zabinik McCulloch with it into the corner. Looking to send it out. He can't Hornquist. And now play back in the line. Bit of a broken play here as it comes side of the net. And now cleared out of there by McCulloch and back to center. Now the Nashville Predators have done anything but uh, fold the tents down the stretch. 6-2-2 two two in their last 10. Really a credit to what they have built here uh, in Nashville. Over the line, Verbata, and he drops it to the corner for Kyle Chipchura. Out high, Verbata with a shot. That goes wide. Summers will pinch and keep. And behind the net for Kyle Chipchura. Chipchura in a one-on-one -on -one against Ryan Ellis. Now well, Martin Erat. Working it along the boards there before it's played out of there by Matt Cullen back through center. Under four to go in the opening period. Chipchura back with it in over the line. Drops it for Verbata with a shot and a stop there by goaltender Pecorine. Well, this season, Saturday baseball comes to America's newest sports network, Fox Sports 1. This week, the Red Sox head to New York to battle the Yankees. Fox Sports 1 is your home for baseball every Saturday starting this week at 10 in the morning. To find Fox Sports 1 on your cable or satellite provider, go to foxsports1.com. Face-off, meanwhile, to the right of Pecorine. These face-offs are going to be so important because Nashville just doesn't give you a whole lot. They're going to create offense. The easiest way is winning draws. Good stick there by Moss. Took Victor Bartley off the puck. Goes in behind the net. Flipped to the front. And out of the line. Good keep for Stone. Got it to the front. And that was deflected wide. Dave Moss tried to set it up. Puck to the line. Yandel. And now Moss is the shot. Goes wide. Really like the game out of McMillan here tonight. He is all over it. With every loose puck, he is on it. Played out of the zone. Good angle off move there by Michael Stone. Puck goes into the corner. Nick Spalling after it for the Predators. Back of the line, Shea Weber. And across for Roman Yossi. Goes in behind the net. Flurry here for Nashville. And in behind the net again, holding on to it is Gostad. Try to work it free, and it's taken away by Bodker, and he'll move it out for Keith Yandel. Here come the Coyotes through center. Yandel over the line, right to Bodker. Oh, and he had a good look there, and a penalty coming up. Draws a penalty. Yeah, Nick Spalling's going to go, and the Coyotes will go to the power play. Well, good job in their own zone again. Shane Doan, big hit in the corner, hits and pins, separates the puck. Away they go. Bodker, Yandel jumps up in the play. Watch Keith Yandel. He slows it down, creates a passing lane, gets it right through to Mikel Bodker, right on the money on his backhand. Probably a pretty good penalty to take for Spalling. That would have been a glorious opportunity for Bodker all alone on Rene. How about Bodker, too, getting that inside position over the blue line as well. Spalling for hooking it. 17-15, so a chance here for the Coyotes on our first Arizona Lottery Powerball power play of the night. They win the draw. Ekman Larson will set it up. Gives it to Romero. Got it through, and that one deflected high and over the top and into the netting. Yeah, pucks and people to the net. We talked about it, the need for second effort goals. To Back to your point, Mikel Bodger making that second effort getting to the front of the net, and then Shane Doan off this face-off win, a redirection off that shot by Mikel Bodker. That's where Shane Doan scored a lot, if not all of his power play goals this year, just from the job that he does in front. Two excellent face-off teams here tonight. 
Coyotes six, Nashville second in the NHL. They win that draw, but it's going to pop free, and Bodker will bring it back in. Mikel Bodker in the corner. Coyotes with uh, plenty of time as it's played into the corner. And now back to the line, but it's taken away. Back they come shorthanded. Nystrom. Nice little pull-up move high. Now Nystrom trying to get it in front. Down low in the corner. Board battle here. Yandel in behind the net. Excellent work that time by the Predators' Paul Gostad. As Bodker will set it up. Back through center ice. And over the line it goes. Verbata tried to get it out high that time. I think he was looking for Romero, and it's cleared away. With a minute 40 left. In the period and 53 in the power play. That's not the play there by Verbata. you got to keep it simple. No need at that point to put that puck and that pass through sticks and bodies. Played back of the line by Yandel and across. Michael Stone looks to take a shot. Might have been a, a looking for a redirect there. Yandel played it down low before it's cleared away and sent down the length. Twenty-eight left of the penalty time. And the Coyotes bring it out to center. Redeem Verbata. Gets it in over the line. Ekman Larson. Try to set it right back to Verbata. Turn the other way. Good keep of the line by Stone. Under a minute to go in the period. Back out high, Ribeiro. Over to Ekman Larson. Brister batted away that time by Rene. Ekman Larson gets it right back. Penalty about to expire. Into the corner for Verbata. Tries to go across. Penalty is over, so the Predators kill it off. Verbata out of the corner. Now down low for Korpakoski. 35 left in the period. And it's taken away and out of the zone back through center. Well, not, Nystrom, nice job there. Not a good power play for the Coyotes. Maybe one, possibly two shots. Not very many good scoring chances. Derek Morris gets it right back in. Waiting seconds of the opening period. 15 remaining. And out of the zone and skating it along is Matthias Ekholm. And over the line. Shot and a glove save, Grice. Huge save there, and maybe the save of the period. Yeah, he hasn't had to make many. That's just a six shot of the game for the Predators. Comes in, gets to the middle of the ice. Rolls it short side. Big save there by Thomas Grice, who has to be lacking a little bit of confidence here after that game the other night. Well, coming up, Todd will chat with Brandon McMillan. You were talking about his game in this opening period. A look at the weekend ahead at jobbing.com. And stats and highlights as well. That last chance from the youngster, Kelly Yarncroft. I'll right let you have today. that name all night. Yeah, that's a new one. Yarncroft. Played in behind the net. Four seconds to go. McCulloch content to just kill clock here, and that's it. End of one tonight at Bridgestone Arena. The Coyotes had the play early on in spurts that went the other way towards the Nashville Predators, but no score through one, Tyson. Ah, pretty solid road period, if you ask me. I'm sure they're a little bit nervous. They know their margin for error is so small, but you allow the Predators only six shots. Missed opportunity. The Predators do not give you much, so you have to capitalize on those power play opportunities. The Coyotes didn't. Coyotes had nine shots in the opening 20. The Predators six. And at the end of one tonight in Music City, as Nash comes down from the Raptors, we can report no score. The Phoenix Coyotes and the Nashville Predators stick around. Todd Walsh up next. The mission of Coyotes Hockey was presented by Jack in the Box. Try the new Bacon Insider at Jack in the Box. It's got bacon mixed right into the patty at participating restaurants. Welcome back. No score tonight in Music City. Coyotes and the National Predators. Hey, don't forget, tomorrow night you can enjoy, uh, join the Coyotes alumni at Tyson Nash, Damon Lanco, and others at the Ice Den in Scottsdale. They're going to be playing in a charity hockey game. All proceeds uh, from the $10 ticket benefit of the 100 Club of Arizona and the family of fallen police officer John T. Hobbs. You can purchase your tickets tonight online at phoenixcoyotes.com slash 100 club. Tyson going to be a big part of that alumni offense tomorrow, I'm sure. At least you think you will be. Well, what's, a, what's a game day like for you in an alumni game? What a, maybe a, a pregame nap, yeah, pregame meal, Manny Petty. Yeah. I mean, I, yeah, I'm, I'm ready. 
I'm ready. I'm excited. It's it's going to be a, a lot of fun. Always good to get out there, toss some smiles around. I'm sure, it'll be a packed house over there at the ice stand. The alumni is is great. It's a great cause. We raise a, a boatload of money. I, under- I and I understand that you guys have a Yale ringer, and I'm going to leave it at that. Really? Right, Finally, uh, someone to pass to, eh? I was going to say, yeah. All right. I heard you're filling water bottles. Yeah, <laughs> I might. I might just do that. Maybe I'll wear a fedora and stand behind the bench. Underway here in the second period, but that'll be a great event tomorrow night out of the ice den in Scottsdale as this puck is played all the way back. And Perpikoski got it in over the line, but we get a whistle here on the offside. Downstairs, Todd Walsh. Guys, a couple of comments from Jim Playfair before the start of this second period. The focus, as it has been for the last three or four days for this team, keep putting pucks on the net, but now they want to focus more in on those second and third chances. And also, uh, try to dump that puck in on Pecorino, big tall goaltender. Make him handle the puck. Saw that a couple of times in that first, didn't we? That's not a strong point for Pecorino, the way he handles the puck. I think the biggest thing, though, you got to keep it away from his gloves. Everything. You watch, even a, a blocker save, he, he tries to catch it with that glove hand. Freezes everything. Out of the zone it goes, and Smith will move it along as he got it back in over the line, this time for Gabriel Bork. Eddies will try to counter. Play down low. Gostad, he'll get it right back, and a wrister handled by Grice, and he holds on. Oh, wow. Another good opportunity here for Nashville. Coyotes lose the board battle. Good puck movement. That'll give and go. Coyotes get puck focused. Leads to that chance. Another save for Thomas Grice. Starting to find his game again. Lost it a little bit the other night in Columbus. Got to be feeling a little bit better about himself each and every save. Face off to the right of goaltender Thomas Grice. At the line. The shot goes wide that time from Eckholm. Coyotes will get it out. Chipchuro moves it along, and Zabinik McCulloch is settling right back in. Board battle down low. Chipchuro is going to go after it. Good work along the boards that time. Took it right away from Eckholm. Uh, Martin Erat in there as well. Redeem Gramata kind of circling and surveying as well. The puck has popped out where McCulloch will send it this time off netting. And so we'll get a whistle and a stoppage to play. Tonight's uh, cold hard facts are brought to you by Frost Brood Coors Light. We'll take a look at a dent defenseman, a leading teams in points. Keith Neandle, of course, for the Coyotes and Shea Weber here in Nashville. Uh, Shea Weber, what a beast he is. Talk about a complete player for the Predators. Putting up huge numbers. I think he had his 21st goal the other night. It's incredible for a defenseman. Sent right to the front and knocked away and cleared out of there. Right idea that time by the veteran Derek Morris. McMillan will chip this one back inside the Nashville blue line. Now McMillan goes after it. And the Predators will set it up. Bartley now. Victor Bartley across center will send one in. Playing tonight with the youngster Seth Jones. Taken away by Eric Nystrom. And now a chance in front right through the crease that time. Played all the way back. Seth Jones now inside of his own zone. Bartley. Took a bump that time from Klinkhammer. Played right back in. Halpern. Trying to kick it along. Colin Wilson is in there. Victor Stahlberg temporarily upended. Now Colin Wilson has it. Penalty coming up here. They're going to get the Coyotes. It's going to be Jeff Halpern. Delayed call. Into the corner. Stahlberg to the front, and Ellis all tied up, and we get the penalty here. And it's going to be a tripping call, so Nashville will go to the power play. Well, Nashville's been good in the second period. They've come out. Cycle on that puck. Jeff Halpern gets caught reaching. Right. There. Just catches that left skate. A little unlucky there for Halpern. One of their top penalty killers, Jeff Halpern, in the box. Big kill. So off the faceoff, Coyotes will look to push it along. It's Brandon McMillan to get it back through center. 
He's kind of killing off time as he dumps one in. McMillan out there with Vermette. Also out there, McCulloch and Ekman Larson. Cullen will bring it along for Nashville. Over the line for Hornquist into the corner. Rolls in behind the net. Ekman Larson after it. So is McCulloch. That is a look to chip it along. Hornquist has other ideas as he brings it around to the near side. Cullen now. And back of the line. Roman Yossi. Now Mike Fisher to Yossi. Shea Weber at the right point. Keep an eye on him with that huge shot. This one comes in front, and it's cleared up the ice by Zabinik McCollin. Now a good stick there by McMillan and Antoine Vermette taking away that D to D and that big shot by Shea Weber. You know Nashville wants to get it into Weber's hands so he can let that go. Take that away. Racing back with it. And over the line, shot taken that time goes in behind the net by Craig Smith. And now Smith will work it towards the line. Good work that time by Dave Moss, but the puck is kept. Onside with 45 to go in the power play, and Weber with a shot. That went wide. Boy, can he unload it. Smith now. Back out high. Ellis. Shea Weber. Shoots. Glove save that time by Grice. That was the youngster, Seth Jones, letting it fly from that right point. He's got a cannon as well. Glove side on Thomas Grice. And he's getting it done here. Not giving Nashville much as well. Taking away that D-to-D -D pass. Ellis gets the middle of the ice. No shot. They put it outside to Seth Jones. Coyotes will let them shoot from there all night long. Off the faceoff will go to the corner. McCulloch trying to work it in behind the net. There's a bit of McCulloch still after the puck. This one to the line. Yossi. Back out high. Hornquist with it. Now back to the line for Cullen. To Shea Weber. Now across it goes. Yossi with a shot that hit traffic in front. Out of the penalty box is Halpern, so they kill off the minor to do the Coyotes. Weber. This one's going to be taken away by McCulloch. Played behind the net by Halpern. Now the Coyotes look to set it up as this one is lofted into the neutral zone. And Larson now for Zabinik McCollin. Well, it's back to work now. That's a big kill. Something you can build some momentum off of. Putting that puck behind Nashville's D. Time to go to work again here. They have not had a good start to the second period. Out of the zone. Bork now with it. Back it over the line. Rister. Getting a piece of that was Grice. Get in behind that by Keith Yandel. Try to get it out. There's that shot on Thomas Grice to the glove side. Again, he missed it. Like the, the other night, that goal the Jackets scored, I believe that was Como. Been all Nashville here in this second period. Good up to alleviate that pressure the Coyotes are trying to put on. And here comes the shot and kind of handcuffs Thomas Grice, your laser eye center view from the ice. He just misses it flat out with that glove. Buck is going to be moved along, and the Predators will get it out. Rink-wide, Bork in over the line, but this play goes offside, so the faceoff will come outside the zone. Hey, look at the shots on goal for the game, Tyson. Ten now for the Predators. The Coyotes with nine shots, and they had the edge at the end of the first period, 9-6, uh, did the Coyotes. Yeah, get back to doing the things that bring you success. Hard work, number one. The shots on goal, 10 for Nashville. Four here already in the second period, none for the Coyotes. Around the boards, and Derek Morris now plays it in behind the net. Chipchura avoided a hit that time from Nystrom. Good board battle inside the Coyotes zone. Ellis pinching down low, trying to help out Nystrom, and the puck goes behind the net. Derek Morris that time takes it away, and he'll get it back through center. And over the line, Chipchura. Alberbata down low to the corner for Martin Erat. Erat got it to the front one. That went off the skate of Kyle Chipchura. Well, the Nashville Predators, you have to be so quick with your passing. 
to create space, to create opportunities. Still no score, early second. Tom Walsh on the county bench with Antoine from that. Kind of a sleepy start to this period. How do you generate offense against these guys, Antoine? Well, and something we noticed on the, on their uh, diesel coverage, they're going to have the tendency to go men on men a little bit. So we talked about like generate second and third chance, but I think one thing where we can uh, do is try to beat our guy off the wall uh, in the corner, for instance. So try to win that first one-on-one -on -one battle. Right after that, if we move the puck, try to go in front and beat that guy. Thanks, Antoine. Good luck, guys. All right, we'll keep our eye on that, Antoine Vermette. All the board battles once again. Don't have to hear it from us all the time. It, the players know it. This stage, things are so tight. Whether you're in the playoffs or out of the playoffs. You know Nashville's not going to roll over. They're always a real good defensive team. So win those board battles means more here tonight than ever. And, and you never know what you're going to get for a team that has been eliminated from the playoffs. A lot of times you get a, a great effort like right there and a shot over the top. I mean, sometimes uh, teams are pulled up, but no way Nashville's going to do that. They are loose and unafraid to make mistakes. That makes them a very, very dangerous team, as you just saw there. Pretty good passing. Sent back in that time by Bodker. Into the corner dome. Try to work it out high for Bodker. Taken away. Bodker has it. Now pitching down low, Chris Summers. A couple of goals this season. As he's joined this team down the stretch. Now Doan. Board battle here. Trying to work it back to the point man, Ekman Larson. And it's played all the way down the length of the ice. McCulloch with some speed. Brings it along, gets it back in over the line. Taken away there by Eckholm. New center for Matt Cullen. And the Predators will bring it back to center. That's picked off. No one went after it, but a quick counter here. Over the line, Fisher shoots, and that one won. And it'll go all the way up the ice. Back to grab it is Victor Bartley. All of our little adjustments all over the ice, and Ray Trotz and Dave Tippett, two of the best coaches at making those adjustments. Guys are going to have to find a way, though, to start creating a little bit more, a little more puck possession as well. It's been all national predators here in this second period. Korpakoski is going to try to utilize some speed through center with the handle. Gets it in over the line. Ribeiro got it right through the crease. Oh, they had a couple of guys going to the front, maybe looking for deflections. And now Yandel plays it along for Michael Stone. Back over the line, Korpakoski looks for the setup. Back to the front. Just a little bit past the clip that time was Jeff Alpert. Another couple of feet maybe in front of goaltender Pecorino. He would have had a great look. Yeah, that's why you stop in front. His momentum just carried him right through the blue paint and below the goal line. Predators try to pop it in front. Yano will take it away. And Klinkhammer gets it to center ice. Here's Jeff Halpert. Over the line, Klinkhammer. That time he kind of went awkwardly into the boards. Looks like a minor penalty coming up here. Let's see what happens. Yeah, looks like it's going to be high stick. Now they're going to get the Coyotes. This might be is this against Rob Klinkhammer. Yeah, I, th I think so. Klinkhammer goes in. He a little stutter step here, and he just blows a tire, yeah. and his stick comes up and catches Ellis right in the mouth. A real unlucky break here for the Coyotes. That's two now here. Back-to-back -back penalties from Aaron Sticks. Now he was trying to basically catch his balance in the stick. Went up high, and so Klinkhammer goes at 8.37 for high sticking. Uh, Nashville with all the momentum right now. The men out there for the faceoff against Matt Cullen to the right of Thomas Grice. And Chris Summers will try to get it out, but he can't. Roman Yossi, good keep there. Goes in behind that. The round now where Fisher will set it up. Way behind that. Gostad lets it go for Matt Cullen. And out of the zone for McMillan, and he sends down the length of the ice. So a minute 35 left of the minor penalty to Rob Klinkhammer. And out of the zone for Cullen. Over the line, good keep there, Shea Weber. And this one is cleared down the length of the ice by Zabinik McCollum. Weber now behind the net. He leaves it there for Yossi. For 
Cullen who deflects one in. Taken away that time. Good back check there by Dave Moss and sent down the length of the ice. Cardi's doing a real nice job holding that blue line. Look at the National Predators come through him. Dump that puck in. Colin Wilson taken away. McCulloch there. And back the other way for Korpakoski. Plays it in behind the net after it is Rene. Colin Wilson will pick it up. Played out of there and back over the line it goes. Weber. Now Weber back out high. Chance here. Glove save Grace. Not a bit there by the youngster Seth Jones. And Nashville finally gets that puck over the blue line into the offensive zone. The setup, the shot by Jones. No traffic in front. That happened pretty quick. Easy save for Thomas Grice. A very aggressive mindset here for the penalty killers of the Coyotes. Jumping on the Preds. They don't have a, a whole ton of skill up front. Jones has it and he gives it off. And now Jones midpoint shoots it. Went wide. Into the corner now Ellis. And Smith will work it back to the line. Seth Jones for Ellis. And now Smith. Smith holds. He shoots. He scores. That might have been deflected. Over the left shoulder of Thomas Grice. And it's 1-0 Nashville. Oh, what a goal this is by Smith. He gets Michael Stone to drop to one knee. And then finds the shooting lane. Here's the move. The fake. Stone goes down, pulls it to the inside, and then throws it right off Chris Summers. I think that goes off Summers' right shoulder. Yep. And into the left, top left corner. No chance on the play for Thomas Grice. What a beautiful shot there by Craig Smith. His 21st goal of the season. Comes on the power play at 10-26. Now Antoine Vermette will give it off in the corner. It's an example right there of a power play that you just have to do it right once. They were struggling. Couldn't get that puck set up. No real good puck movement. Two shots on that last power play for the Predators. Played in behind the net. Shea Weber has it. Taken away by Bodker. Out high now. Ekman Larson. Trying to get a wrister on. That's broken up and out of the zone back through center ice. Zabinik McCollin. Right back it over the line. This one is turned the other way and out of the zone. Rich Clune and he'll send one in. So now Nashville goes to the shift change. And the Coyotes will look to get it out, but they can't. McCollin, nice takeaway there for Fisher. Puck rolls in behind the net. And a board battle ensues before Ekman Larson will take it away. Now Phoenix definitely doesn't look like a team right now that's fighting for their playoff lives. They got to get things rolling here. They need a big shift. They need some sort of spark right now. It has been all Nashville. And I'm beating that to death right now, but they need something. Bravada pull up move to the line. Keith Yandel. Rister got it to the front. That's knocked away. And the puck is cleared out and down. Stone, good angle off play there, and Yano gets back. Hands one of the penalty. Over the line, Erat. Took a bump. Still pursuing the puck. Holding on to it is Korpakoski. Hartley will take that away. Back to the line. Kept momentarily by Yano before it's cleared. And Bork for Nashville will get one deep. Well, it's like everyone's looking around for someone else to do it. There's no superstars on this team. There's a team that relies on every single player. Right all the way down, and we get a whistle here and an icing call. Well, you can get the best savings, benefits, and incentives by becoming a season ticket member for the upcoming 2014-15 season. Call 480-563-PUCK. You can also visit phoenixcoyotes.com to learn more together. We are full strength. Smith getting his 21st on the power play. Ellison Jones picking up the assist at 10-26. Out of the 
the zone and now back it over the line. Smalling drops it. Colin Wilson. And this one will go high and off netting. We'll step out. Greg Smith is 21st. And it comes on the power play. 1 0 Nashville. Back 1 0 Predator. You look at Craig Smith. Far left of your screen. He's going to get this puck on the side wall. If you stop it here, guys, keep an eye on Michael Stone. Smith just wants to get him to drop. He bites and then goes around him and takes that shot. That is just a beautiful, highly skilled play there by Smith. Patience and time. And then just a pinpoint shot, bank, bank shot, if you will, off the shoulder of Chris Summers. But he'll take it. Stahlberg's shot goes straight up in the air off the deflection of Halpern. Puck goes in behind the net. Ekman Larson looks to move it along. This one will go up ice. Rene had to make the save. No icing. And that's tough for a defenseman. He, he has to respect the initial shot. And he bid on it, but that is a real highly skilled play. Seth Jones with it. Got a shot away, and this one's going to be handled off the end boards by Thomas Grace. Well, do you think you are Arizona's number one super fan? If so, now is the time to prove it and show the entire state. Log on to foxsportsarizona.com slash superfan for all the details. A couple of Coyotes fans here tonight in Music City. Yeah, I think they were tweeting earlier. Doing the tour. Country music. Hockey Hall of Fame. What a city, Nashville. Johnny Cash. This one hit the post on a deflection from Bork. Simple. You win a faceoff, it leads to an opportunity. Went off the end boards. Rene that time worked it in behind the net for Shea Weber. Out of the zone and up the ice. Get in behind the net, rolling, pucking around. Roman Yossi. Now Craig Smith. Give it right to Shane Doan. He'll backhand one through center. Coyotes had real good offensive zone time in about the first seven or eight minutes of this hockey game, but since then, it's been a lot of Nashville. Well, they haven't had a shot this entire period, I can tell you that. So they're still sitting at nine. I'm not sure how far back that goes into the first period either, but it has been way too long. There it is, zone, no shots. Last 15 minutes. That is just unacceptable. Like, it can't happen right now. That's the team that's fighting for their playoff lives. They need to get it going here. Honker tries to throw it in front. This one's going to be cleared out. Nashville right now looks like the team that's trying to get in. Kyle Chaptura and now Hornquist. It's dumped off the ice. No icing here. Stone that time in a board battle. Or Erat. He'll move it out for Keith Yandel. And just need one opportunity. One shot, one shift to change it all. Well, the Predators got a power play goal earlier in this period from Craig Smith. They almost had their second goal off of the deflection that hit the pipe. Close games, uh, nothing new for the Coyotes. You go back to Friday, the shootout, which they left a point on the table against the Edmonton Oilers, losing that one 3-2. to two. Tuesday night in Columbus. I don't know what happened in overtime. Ryan Johansson, 30-plus goals. Boy, has he turned into a great player. Outstanding. 21 years old as well. well. They got two points out of those two games. They would have loved to have had four. Uh, you, it's, it's just close calls. But to your point, Tyson, they need a shot. They haven't had a shot on goal since the 1907 mark of the first period. Not 16 minutes. Up the score, particularly when you got Pecorino standing between the pipes as well for the Predators, looking to break a franchise record, trying to get the 162 wins here tonight with a win. Sometimes it's it's, it's a numbers game. Uh, you play guys like Sergei Bobrovsky and Pecorino and some of the elite goaltenders around the National Hockey League. It's about getting shots. Redeem Verbata will play it in behind the net. Got it to the front. That went off Fisher's skate in behind the net. You look at how the Coyotes scored the other night in Columbus. They're, they're not fancy. This is a team that doesn't score a lot of tic-tac-toe goals. Every goal was ugly. The second efforts we talked about that's going to be needed here tonight. This is what we're talking about. The Coyotes trailing the Dallas Stars by two points. But, again, GR, that's games remaining. The Coyotes have one additional game over the Dallas Stars. 
and a win tonight, they tie Dallas in the wild card. If they lose in regulation tomorrow night, they'd be eliminated, or tonight, they would be eliminated if Dallas wins tomorrow. And there's some other scenarios as well. Yeah, you don't want to put it in the no. hands of the Dallas Stars winning and losing. You no. control your own destiny with their loss last night in Columbus. You have to come out here and get it done. Yeah, and I'll tell you this. So the St. Louis Blues are in Dallas tomorrow night. They're playing tonight in Minnesota, so that's the back end of a back-to-back -back for a very good team, but a team that has lost three straight heading into that game tonight in Minnesota. Well, they're banged up, too. Here's a chance right to the net. It rode off. And Bryce got that one with the blocker. Bork in a battle in the corner for metal. Ship it behind the net for Ekman Larson. The Coyotes get it back through center. Botker now in a one-on-one. -on -one. Takes a shot. Rene the save. And the Coyotes there it is. register a shot. I was just going to say, just get a shot. Start somewhere, anywhere. Just throw it at the net. Doesn't matter. Get things rolling in the right direction. Baby steps right now for the Coyotes. Botker gets this puck and just throws it at the net. Nashville's done an exceptional job. you got to give them credit. Blocking shots, sticks and lanes. The Coyotes right now, way too much time in their own zone. Smothered by the Predators tonight. Back of the line, here's a chance. Morris got it towards the net. It was hooked, to... too. Yeah, it took a penalty called on the play. Boy, he had uh, Chip Chura just hanging out in front looking for a deflection. Korpikoski hey! got upended. Now Chip Chura in the corner. This one's going to be taken away. And back to center ice come the Predators as it's played back in by Nystrom. Nashville Predators have been anything but a wilting flower down the stretch. I mentioned it earlier. 6-2-2 two and two over their last 10 as this one will come back inside the Coyote zone. Uh, they play a real simple game. You know, it's it's not going to be a Picasso here when those these two teams face, I can tell you that. And we haven't been wrong. A lot like a chess match, but they, they play hard. Honest effort. They just try to outwork you and capitalize on opportunities when they get them. Very loose of their morning skate. Very vocal. Having fun. Rene, that shot is in on y by Yandel. There you go. Another shot. Take it. Win a faceoff here. And score a goal. How many goals this year have we seen the Coyotes score off of faceoff wins? Simple. I don't mind that play at all because, like you said, it gets an offensive zone faceoff. Two real good faceoff teams. I just need a hero here. Somebody just to take charge of this game. They're all looking at someone else to do it. It's Rip, uh, Rivero, along with Robata and Erat out there right now. Ekman Larson and McCulloch as the point men. At the line, Verbata try to send it across that time to Ekman Larson. It's cleared out of there. Played right back on the deflection by Rivero as it goes in behind the Nashville net. McCulloch, and that one is covered by Rene. And another offensive zone faceoff. So, Coyotes generating a little bit here in, in terms of getting some faceoffs in the offensive zone. They've actually had a couple of shots in the last couple of minutes. It's baby steps, right? Yeah. I mean, they, 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 they had nothing nothing going on for most of this period. Yeah, this is a tough period to watch if you're a Coyote fan. But again, they're very much still in this game. They're hanging around this one on the road. Just got to find a way. Yossi. Out of the zone, back through center board. It was blocked away by Yandel. And now Doan with it. Lays it in behind the net after it is Antoine Vermette took a rough ride there. Yandel. And now Doan keeps. The play to the corner and in behind the net where Roman Yossi will take it away. Back of the line. Pinch that time by Yandel. Seemed to be out of gas. Here's a chance. Bork to the front and stopped by Grice. Oh boy, a pinch inside that left point goes awry. Now we get a little bit of pushing and shoving. Well, you're trying to create offense. Keith Yando goes for the pinch. Now the Coyotes are getting into it with the Predators. Maybe this will give them a little bit of a spark. The pinch by Yandel. 
Little push by Gostad and throws it to Bork, and he makes a real nice play. Spinorama throws it at the net. Big save there by Thomas Grice. To keep this a 1 0 hockey game. Is that Craig Smith again right there all alone on Grice? That's a big save. You need that from your Huge. goaltender. You're not getting any help in front of you. you got to do whatever you can to keep your team in it. Smith with a lone goal here. In the second period, a power play tally. Face off to the right of Grice. Board battle ensues. Coyotes will come away with it. Ekman Larson. Grace is it all the way back in. Plays it in behind the net. Moss will go after it. Shea Weber there. And he'll clear it down the length of the ice. Where are we going to whistle here on the ice? Well, a minute 34 to go. Coyotes have done pretty well, fared well tonight once again in the circle. Yeah, Rivero's going to be out there to take this draw. It'll be a Rivero Erat Verbata again with Ekman Larson and McCulloch. Jay Tippett juggling the lines a little bit, trying to get a spark somewhere. At the line, Ekman Larson takes a shot. Rene kicks that away. Into the corner for Rivero. 125 remaining in the period. Predators on that goal by Craig Smith with a 1 0 lead. Erat behind the net. Oh, Erat that time lost an edge. Works it to the line for McCulloch. Got it right through, and Rene makes the save. The Fox Sports Arizona.com has all your local sports coverage you can't find anywhere else. The full coverage from tonight's game. Craig Morgan analyzes the Coyotes' playoff implications. And Randy Hill previews the Suns, a crucial road trip through Texas, all for you at FoxSportsArizona.com. Now the Suns, uh, like the Coyotes, hanging by a thread for the postseason. A lot of fans sitting on the edge of their couches here tonight watching this one. Bokers. Open and praying. Oh, yeah. Bokers. Shot went wide. Good keep of the line by Derek Morris. Under a minute remaining in the second period. Played out in Yandel now. So now Yandel and Morris. As it will be moved back and over the line. And offside go the Coyotes here. Well, when it's not working, that's the coach's job. Dave Tippett has his finger on the pulse of his team. He's looking for anything. Any sort of bright spot. Goes back to old pairings. You mentioned Derek Morris and Keith Yandel back together. Juggling the lines. Trying to find some offense out of anyone. Talked to Todd Walsh earlier tonight. I called it the about the want. It's all about the want. The Coyotes, right now it's all about the need for more shots and more opportunities. Right to the front hole, and that just went wide. Whistle here on the offside. Coming up in our intermission, Todd will visit with that man, Mikel Bodker. Take a closer look at the race for the Stanley Cup. We'll also have uh, stats and highlights here from Bridgestone Arena in Nashville. Coyotes will head home immediately following tonight's game. They'll practice, uh, I believe, tomorrow. Have their team photo. And then those two games. This weekend, San Jose Saturday, Dallas on Sunday. Out of the zone and back through as Grice waves at that one. 18 seconds to go in the period. Right out of the zone, and Ekman Larson will get it back in over the line, holding his Ribeiro. Now Ribeiro backs off the defender. Across it goes. McCulloch tried to get a shot away, and... No problem there for Rene. Puck goes behind the net with one second to go, and that's it. End of two here, and now some pushing and shoving. With uh, Erat. I believe that was the Predators' uh, Matias Eckholm. Well, they don't give you anything. No. I can tell you that. Nashville, that is a 
solid period out of the Predators here tonight. Smothered the Coyotes all period long. Coyotes, though, they finished the second period off a little bit stronger. That's how they need to start this third period. It's time to get nasty. Well, the Nashville Predators, when they lead after two periods of play this year, 22-0-4 when trailing... They're just 228 and four, but they've got the lead through 40 tonight. Craig Smith is 21st from Ellison Jones back at 1026 on the power play. And it's one nothing Nashville. Stick around. Todd Walsh takes over. When we return, he'll chat with Mikel Bodker right here in Music City. Coyotes Hockey on Fox Sports Arizona is brought to you by Cox Communications. Bundle and save with Cox. By Jack in the Box. Try the new Bacon Insider at Jack in the Box. It's got bacon mixed right into the patty at participating restaurants. By Jeep. Visit Jeep.com to learn more. And by Bequiva Hotel and Casino. Discover the all-new Bequiva Hotel and Casino. See you at the VQ. Welcome back. It's Shane Doan and the Coyotes getting set for the third period of play. Maybe a little soul-searching there as the Coyotes will try to find their offense here tonight. Tyson Nash trailing 1-0. Thomas Grice has been good. 16 shots faced. 15 saves. Got seven goals in their last five games for the Coyotes up till this point. They need someone to step up and be a hero. Underway, Ekman Larson will play it in behind the net on a shot there that's steered by Rene. Now out of the corner, Korpikoski, and it comes back to the line for Bodker. And now Bodker will work it on right wing, looking to set it up. He took a shot, and that went off the glove of Pecky Rene. And behind the net. And now Weber will take it away. Through center for Michael Stone. Oh, falling down on the play that time. And we talked about, well... Over the line, Hornquist shoots, batted away by Grice. Here's a chance, Cullen stopped, rebound. Hornquist tried to get it to the front, and he could. Into the corner now. Hornquist that time wasn't really ready for the pass, and it comes out of the zone. And Shane Doan will send one in. Yandel now picks it off, and he'll get one deep. We talked about the Coyotes in their first period. A, a lot better period. We generated... And created eight turnovers by the Predators because of that pressure. So that was the same message Dave Tippett talked to his club about. This is it. Got to find a way to get it done. Played right back in by Yandel. Rene will kick that to the corner. Boss now works it in behind the net. Chip Churro will go after it. And now Martin Erath there collided with Chip Churro. And it'll be played along as the Coyotes watch the Predators bring it in. Nystrom now, right wing side. Looking for a trailer picked off that time by Dave Moss. And he'll go off the boards to center for Chipchura, who will get one in. Now Chipchura that time, a rough ride from Bartley. Back of the line, but Morris that time was not in position, and so Grice will give it to the defenseman, and the Coyotes look to get it up quickly. Bob Kernan. Bodker holds. He sent one right to the glove of Rene, and he holds on. Uh, Hornquist starts this all off for the Predators. Shot. Good rebound control by Grice. And then Nashville just all over it. Hornquist and the Nashville Predators' hottest forward by a, by a long shot. Putting up big numbers again. 20 goals, 49 points. Now Hornquist has been very good, as has Shea Weber. Puck along the boards. Yandel looks to keep. He did. Now Yandel gets a shot away, and that was blocked. Here's Korpakoski, and this one off netting. And so a face-off to come up. Hey, don't forget, Fan Appreciation Night presented by Cox Communications is Sunday where the Coyotes host the Dallas Stars over a night of giveaways, including a rally towel courtesy of Cox. Get your the tickets today at phoenixcoyotes.com. You can also pick them up by calling 480-563-PUCK. And again, Coyotes home Saturday against San Jose. Fan appreciation night Sunday against the Dallas Stars. And we certainly hope they mean something, those games. Here's a chance. Doan. Now Doan threw it to the front, but it's knocked away. And Hornquist will clear it out. Now look at that movement by Pecorine. 
Took Shane Doan all the way over. Shane Doan ran out of real estate, nowhere to go. Steered away by Rene, and so a little more of a push here to start the third period to play out of the Coyotes. Much better third period for the Coyotes. A lot of time in the offensive zone. All about face-offs. Keith Yandel making things happen. Shane Doan picking up the garbage. Look at the movement by Pecorine. He's way out of his net. Followed him all the way to that far left post. At the line, Yandel's going to race back to retrieve. Gave it away. Fisher, he shoots. And that rode up high. In the corner for Rivero, and he'll feed it to Yandel. Coyotes look to counter quickly through center dome. Elkone will give it off there for Verbata. And the Predators will get it out. McCulloch for Summers. Deflected over the glass and out of play. And so the faceoff will be marked outside the Coyotes' blue line. Yeah, that went in hot, and not only is all that time in the offensive zone important, or that's how you draw penalties. Coyotes can't generate a whole lot. Five on five, the power play has got to get it done like it has all year long. They're fifth in the National Hockey League for power play percentage. Huge improvement. McMillan now on the draw against Colin Wilson. Bryce now behind the net to steer it there. Three and a half gone in this third period. Coyotes trailing one to nothing. Needing points. They went out. They're in. McMillan with a shot. That never made it to the net. They can lose tonight, but then they're going to need some help from St. Louis tomorrow night against Dallas. And again, don't really want to talk about those scenarios. Well, just win. Make sure you take care of business here. Win out, and you're in. And back towards the front. McMillan that time got run. Korpikoski with a bit, or excuse me, Klinkhammer with a big hit. Sent across that time. Nobody there. Back it over the line. That's picked and Halper now. Look at the yellow jerseys, though, back. They do not give you anything. Suffocate you in the neutral zone. Don't allow you any sort of speed to take in to the offensive zone. Millen takes a hit to get that puck in deep. Nashville, they... Was Bartley the big hit? Every time he touched the puck, there's a yellow jersey right in your kitchen. Erat has it. Erat that time, a little bit of a tug. Into the corner now. Now Martin Erat holding on to it, trying to get it towards the front. Well, that'd be nice to see Erat score back-to-back -back games against his former team. Stone to the rescue. He'll get it to center ice. Coyotes flip it along. Right all the way back to center. Stone will pick it off. Now Michael Stone in over the line. Chipchura. That's taken away. Cleared out of the zone that time by Eric Nystrom. 18-17. The shots for the game favoring Nashville. one nothing on a power play goal from... Craig Smith back in the second period. He's got the puck. Smith over the line. One save that time by Grice. Thomas Grice is going to have to be absolutely perfect here in this third period. Just under 15 minutes to go. Smith, turnover by the Coyotes. Leads to another chance. That's where they, they force you into hurrying up, making plays that aren't quite there. Just haven't developed. Turn it over and back they come the other way. Now Grice, uh, in terms of being perfect, uh, you wonder if 2-1 might win this game as this puck is played over the line and get a whistle here on an offside. It's been that tight. And these teams on pace for, I would imagine, what, about 25 shots on goal apiece? Yeah. It, might if, be a little high even if that. <laughs> if that, the way things are going. Coyotes are going to have success here tonight. They're going to put at least 10, 12 more shots in this third period. Right all in about, behind the net. It's all about mathematics. Early shooting percentage, or save percentage, excuse me. We all know I'm the mathematician, right? From the pregame show. There you go. 
Over the line and a shot blocked away that time by McCulloch. Quick counter and here comes Vermette. He's got Bodker on right wing. Shoots and a stop there by Rene. And so we'll get an offensive zone face off for Phoenix. Our keys to the game were a second effort goals. The way they got him in Columbus. That'll pay a price to get inside position on Nashville's defense to get to those rebounds. Everything right now coming from the outside and Nashville has just been so good. This starts, you start to get frustrated if you're the Coyotes. Knowing the situation you're in, trying to find some offense and just unable, that's when you start taking more chances. Into the corner for Verbana. Now he gets a shot away and a glove save there by Rene. He's looking pretty confident. Large and in charge there for Rene. Well, that time Verbata went high, and so an easy play for Verbata. And I go back to your comment from earlier in the game tonight, Tyson, about trying to get shots at Rene's feet. Yeah, it's just too easy for him. Even a blocker save, he's grabbing it. He's reaching over across his body and glob grabbing it with the glove. He's one of the one of the best glove hands in the game, but he can also really slow down a game because of all the whistles that he forces. Played out of the zone, Roman Yossi back inside of his own blue line. Six minutes gone here in the third period. Coyotes looking to break through here with a goal. They trail 1-0. To the corner now for Ribeiro. Now Hornquist cuts in behind the net. Yossi at the left point. For Fisher. Now Fisher trying to feed it to the front. Ribeiro, nice job defensively there to get it up on left wing for Yandel. Here's a chance for Bata. Shoot, stayed. Rebound just sent wide by Yandel. What an opportunity there. That's the Coyotes' best chance of the hockey game. Redeem Verbata, a beautiful shot of a feed by Keith Yandel. I'm not sure if that puck rolled up on end for Yandel or not. I don't know if it was de deflected by Nashville's defenseman. A shot rebound opportunity. Clune, meanwhile. Behind the net it goes. Nystrom after it. Clune, Nystrom, and Gostad out there right now for the Predators. Now Stone will ship it in behind the net. Now he's a little bit sloppy here. Stone. Now Bodker. And he'll give it off to Stone and Vermette out of the zone now for Ekman Larson circling. Gets it back through center. Ellis now. Bork with it. Over the line. He shoots. That's blocked away by Grace. Now down low. Fisher. Or excuse me. That was Smith. He'll try to work it to the front. Smith has the lone goal in the hockey game. Now it's played away. And Moss out of the zone. Yandel in the rush. Yandel backs off the man. Yandel shoots. Save that time. I think that got to Rene. Another move. shot. Coyotes with a bit of a flurry here. Erat now. Behind the net for Chipchura. Chipchura back out high. And Yandel fired one over the top. What a move by Keith Yandel. Keith Yandel is taking charge right now in this game. Trying to create something. Big he has save. to. Yeah, big save yep. by Pecorine. Summers will bring it in. Has some speed. Summers into the corner, lost the puck. Cullen in there. Now Summers getting worked over by Shea Weber. Into the corner it goes. Coyotes throw it to the front. Nearly put home. Wow, what a play there by Redeem Verbata. Coyotes come close and Rene comes up with it. Now from the goal line. And the two Yandel chances. I think he just misses the net. And then how about that move? Coyotes trying to get it done. Time now for tonight's cheap game summary. Thomas Grice has been very sharp in this hockey game. And an opportunity in front. Lone goal in this game came from Smith. This was the close call. Game of inches. Game of inches is right. Again, who's in front, though? Shane Doan. Everything going at the feet. 
Alvarine, Rabada just throws that at the net from the goal line. He can those three shots in this game. Nine shot attempts for the night. Coyotes need one. Back of the line, Stone got one through and it just went wide. 11 to go here in the third period. Doan now tried to throw it to the front. Gostad will take it away. And out of the zone it goes. Good keep of the line there by Fisher. And a chance wide of the mark. Comes right back in by Hornquist. Played in behind the net. Cullen is there. Now Matt Cullen in behind the net. Gave it there for Fisher. LeBron a stop and a rebound. They score. And it's 2 0 Nashville. Uh, Hardcore sticks with it. Good board work by the Predators. Good cycle. Hornquist all alone in front of Mike Smith. Not one chance, but two chances. And he bangs it home. Nobody picks him up. Poor coverage by the Coyotes in their own zone. 21st of the season. Yeah, 21's the lucky number tonight for goal scorers. Smith got his 21st in the second on the power play. And Hornquist now with his 21st to make it 2-0. That's a dagger right there. Sent right back in in Derek Morris now. Lost it, Smith to the front. Side of the net. It was right there again. The Predators will watch the Coyotes bring it up. Bodker gets it in behind the net. Take it away that time. Bodker will pick it off and he sends it right back in. Bodker and Vermette battling for the loose puck. Now Yandel. That was blocked out high. Here comes Ellison over the line. Smith. And it's taken away and out of the zone it goes. Stone over the line. Glove save, Rene. And that'll get a face off. Patrick Hornquist. He's made it 2 0. Back time now for our Century Link link to what's next. The drama of the final week of hockey continues. Coyotes will return home for two games. Sharks Saturday at 6 over on 3 TV. And then Sunday with the Dallas Stars at 5 30 here on Fox Sports Arizona. And we certainly hope those games are going to mean something. Right now in this one, the meaning offense. Coyotes are down two. The Nashville Predators played very well the other night in Dallas, but ended up losing in the shootout. They have a 2 0 lead here right now. Trying to play spoiler. They're doing a real good job as well. I mean, they're giving the Coyotes nothing, nothing in this game. Taken away here by Antoine Vermette. And pass Stone and all the way down the length. Nashville 22 0 4 when leading after two periods. How about those numbers? Oliver Ekman Larson was the hero in Columbus, got the game tying goal. Derek Morris will uh, let one go from the point. Keith Yandel as well. At the line it goes. Yandel try to get one through traffic. He'll go back after the loose puck. Yandel under siege with the two Predators all over him, and so Ribeiro now for Doan. Nashville just backing right off, sending one guy, two guys back. Very patient, making the Coyotes come right through him. Phoenix just has been unable to generate any speed. Big part of their game and their forecheck and pressure is getting speed to the neutral zone. One pass, chip it in. They've done better here in the third period. Well, when you think of their uh, few scoring chances they've had in this game, They've come off of speed. Remember Bodker going yeah. to the front of the net. He was able to gain that inside edge and the play by Yandel. And yeah. 
Certainly crunch time right now at 845 remaining. Again, if the Coyotes win out, they're in. They can lose tonight and, and still be alive, but obviously you want to control your own destiny, your own fate. And Dallas plays the St. Louis Blues tomorrow. Another game I'm sure we'll all be watching. Oh, yeah. St. Louis has been banged up by injuries as well. And TJ Oshie practice. went down tonight as well with potential injury. Into the corner it goes, and Moss will try to work it up the boards. Kyle Chipchura got it to the front. Now McCulloch lays it in behind. Martin Erat. The Predators will get it out of the zone, back to center. Right out high here, and Nystrom will have to go back. If you're the Coyotes, that clock with 7.45 remaining in regulation seems like minutes or seconds. And if you're watching tonight in Dallas, maybe the Dallas Stars coaching staff, that clock can't run fast enough as this one is gloved by Rene. Let's take a look at the Taco Bell Twitter poll results. Best off-ice experience of the season. 60%. Let's say it was the night all of those 1980 U.S. Olympians came to town. Granted, they were on the ice, but you know what we're saying. Off-ice experience away from game results and things like that. Tailgating has been just a tremendous hit. And the Tim Hortons coup at Jobbing.com Arena has been... Oh, they're all winners. Yeah. Every one of them. Beyond popular, that uh, Tim Hortons, including. Nice to get some of that Tim's up in the press box. And yeah, we're going to work on that. Between the benches, possibly. <laughs> well, let's hope this. Yeah, we'll put you on an IV drip. <laughs> Go ahead. Isn't this where you're going to say the Timbits come up to me? Yeah. <laughs> Check your pockets. For Matt. And the Predators win the draw. Don't forget they were the second best in face-off proficiency entering this game as Bryce has to cover up with Bork in on top of him. And so now the face-off comes inside the Nashville zone. Face-offs the rest of the way are a must for Phoenix. There's the numbers right there. Down 31-25. Two real good face-off teams here. But when you're trying to generate offense, this is where it starts. Vermette on the draw. Into the corner it goes Smith now. Tries to work it down low. Bork shoots. He sent one wide. Ellis good keep there. Goes in behind the net to the front and Bork kind of kicked at it. This Korpikoski will move it out. After through center, a little pull-up move here as he dumps it into the corner. You really need a guy like Kor Korpikoski to get things going here. They've been real quiet down the stretch. Well, and he's one of those guys that has that speed. Chance now. Verbata shoots. Oh, that deflected by Rene. What a missile. And a langer behind that one. But a lot of shots tonight up high. Verbata trying to get it across. Will be picked off. The handle. Now Verbata takes it again. Shoots, and he just sent one wide. That one was a low missile. And we'll get a whistle. Yeah, Pecorino says no more of this. Well, the last Pepsi Family Pack night is Saturday night at 6 p.m. when the Coyotes host the Sharks. Get four lower-level tickets, four hot dogs, and four Pepsis for just $199. Purchase yours now at phoenixcoyotes.com or 480-563-PUCK. Mike Ribeiro loses it. Shea Weber will play behind the net. Roman Yossi tries to wrap it around. Are we going to whistle on the uh, puck is played off the glass and out of play? By the way, just, just real quick, getting back to the TV schedule, NBC Sports Network is planning to come to Phoenix for that finale on Sunday, but we'll have it on Fox Sports Arizona in the Valley. So just, just to clear anything up there. Yeah, don't fear. You can get Matt McConnell. Tyson Nash. <laughs> What a game that's going to be. Yeah, and that. Sure hope that's that's, that's the lose. one. Yeah. You sure hope that's all you can ask for. 
sure both teams can go back during the year and go, oh man, I can't believe we gave those points away. If you can just get to that last game to get in, wow. Stone, Ekman Larson. Now Stone with a shot on, stopped that time. Stone was upended. It's hard to believe. Screaming at the official too, he wanted a penalty. It's hard to believe the Coyotes are still in it. But they're losing five straight games. But they are. Into the corner, Cullen. Ekman Larson. And now Verbata. He'll dump one right back in. Chasing it down in the corner is Ribeiro. Game in front. Now Derek Morris will play behind the net for Ribeiro. Coyotes trying to generate something here with 5.20 to go. Now Ribeiro still with the puck. Yandel. To the front, McMillan. Shoots! Rene got the blocker on that one. Over the line, Nystrom. Rister. That ramps up into the netting. 2 nothing. late. Nashville with the lead. 2 nothing. Predators tonight in Nashville. 4.52 to go in the a third period of play remaining a schedules first let's get you updated on the wild card the uh, coyotes two back of the stars with the one game in hand coyotes will play san jose and dallas saturday and sunday out at jobbing.com arena for the dallas stars it's the final playoff spot yet to be determined the stars tomorrow night on home ice against the st louis blues and then that finale in glendale on sunday against the coyotes Back to the line. Kept by Smith, but picked off by Vermette. Now we get a whistle here, and it looks like a be a holding call here going oh, yeah. against Fisher. So hold on. Hold on is right. And a power play that has been so good all year. This is the biggest one of the season. As Gekholm was going to the box. Little hold there, no question about it. Free hand off the stick, puts him in a bear hug. Or he's going to give him the Heimlich there for a second. Matias Eckholm at 15-20 holding. Arizona Lottery Powerball power play. So here we go, Tyson. 440 to go in the third. Get one, then get the second. In behind the net, Doan. Will feed it to the line for Ekman Larson. And now Doan working it on right wing. Shane Doan out high. Ekman Larson takes a wrister right to Rene, and he makes the save. Oh, this is where you got to get it done. Traffic in front. This time it was Antoine Vermette. Shane Doan couldn't get there in time. Doan's got the puck right there, right to your screen. Makes a beeline for the net. So you got to get right in front of him and give Shea Weber a lot of credit just for pushing Vermette out of the way. Just too big and strong. Vermette, Doan, and Bodker, the power play, a threesome up front with Yandel and Ekman Larson. Ekman Larson. And now a chance in front. Loose, clear to the line, but not out. Ekman Larson now works it along. Bodker try to get one towards the net. That went wide. Goes down low in the corner. Doan and Vermette. Rostad in there as well. Doan tries to muscle it out high. Ekman Larson, he shoots, he sent it wide. Now Yandel, behind the net, holding his Bodker. Yeah, no stick for Gostad. Ekman Larson out high, Yandel in the middle, took a shot, blocked away. Loose puck side of the net. As Bodker will leave it there for Yandel. Now Yandel behind the net. Tries to work it out high, and a chance that time Rene got a piece of it. Now these can't let him off the hook here. They're tired and no stick. Here's a chance out high, Yandel. Now back to Doan. Doan across. Ekman Larson saving a rebound. Oh, and it just trickled wide. And cleared over the glass. Wow. Pretty good power play here. Cutters just really couldn't get that one good look. Uh, Pecorine, that puck was bouncing all over the place. 
Big left glove save there. The shot by Oliver ekman Larson and Bonker just can't get to that rebound. Puck doesn't sit down for him. The Coyotes have had all sorts of success, though, because the puck is shot from the middle of the ice. They were huddling around the penalty box area. It's Keith Yandel wanted a, a penalty. I went off Yandel's shaft. I know he's trying to sell it, but went so, off his stick and over the glass. Selling it hard. But it definitely doesn't hurt. There's the chance. And then here comes the clear by Weber. Throws it up. Yandel throws his stick up in the air. And over the glass. 35 to go in the minor penalty to Eckholm. Critical power play here for the Coyotes. They've had all sorts of good looks. Yandel got it to the line. Ekman Larson gets it in over the line for Ribeiro, and we get a whistle here on the offside. Oh, boy. That was close. That one hurts. That's where you got to make that extra effort to get on the other side of the blue line. Turnover. The Coyotes were going the other way. Mike Ribeiro, can he make some magic happen here? This is why he was brought in. All of a sudden, the Coyotes with 29 shots for the hockey game. 23 for Nashville. Played right back in. Korpikoski chases it down, but it's cleared out. And sent down by Fisher. Six seconds to go. In the power play, and 2.42 remaining in the third. Yandel gets one in. Rene gives it off to Shea Weber. For the line. We get a whistle here on the offside. So the Predators kill off the Coyotes' power play. We're down to 2.33 remaining in the third. Now, when does Thomas Grice come? Will be the question for uh, Dave Tippett. I would think we're going to see him to the bench quickly. Coyotes need two to force overtime. Played by McCulloch. And in behind the net to center for Vermette. He lost it. And played right back in. Bobker out of the corner. Maybe some of that speed will come in handy here. Price to the bench. So the extra attacker out for the Coyotes to the front. And a chance there for Dome, but it went off Weber's skate. Good keep of the line by Yandel. Tries to work it down low. Weber is there. He'll ship it in behind the net. Oh, big hit that time. Roman Yossi got drilled by Shane Doan. The puck will go off the ice. And now Doan and Yossi having words. Now goalie Grice is to the bench. There we go. Extra attacker out. Ribeiro will send one in. Around the boards. Ekman Larson lost it. Comes in front. Ribeiro. Now behind the net. Korpakoski after it. He fell down. Clear to the line. Great keep though by Yandel. Somehow he kept that puck inside the blue line before it's cleared out by Bork. Erat. Sent around. Fisher. Board battle there. Closing in on a minute remaining. Oh, pass. Now we got a whistle here, and that's where they're, they're, they're going to mark it. Just outside, I believe. Are they going to bring it outside the yeah, outside the Nashville zone? Yeah, Dave Tippett calls a timeout, too. So Dave Tippett calls timeout to discuss. Here are the goals for Nashville back at 10:26 of the second period. Smith on a deflection is 21st. And then Patrick Hornquist, his 21st. Here in the third, 921 even strength goal. Power play goal for Smith. And that last one by Hornquist was just bad breakdown in the Coyote zone. Tyson, what did uh, head coach Dave Tippett say there? Well, I'm sure they're talking about what they want to do. This is a neutral zone faceoff. They got to get that puck in to the Nashville end. I want to win this draw and get it out wide to Mike Ribeiro, who's going to be on this far left side. 
And if not that, maybe a hard rim around the boards. Make sure that Ribeiro gets the first touch on this to settle things down and make something happen in a hurry. Rebet's going to take the face off. Mike Ribeiro is out of camera range. Uh, he is set up far left on the Coyotes' side of center red. Uh, he's almost back at the Coyotes' blue line. He's going to want to get a little speed. There, yeah. yeah, there he is. And the face off of the offside dot. Rostad's going to take this draw against Antoine Vermette. Yandel and Ekman Larson out there, so is Doan and Bodker. We have a discussion uh, still going on here. And now we're ready to go. They reset the clock to one minute. Empty Coyotes net. A good look at Thomas Grice. So here we go. Predators with a 2 nothing lead. They win the draw. Roman Yossi. Took a bump there from Doan. Puck played all the way back, and Yandel will set it up. Coyotes need to hurry. They need two. Yandel got it in over the line. That's taken away. Back of the line it goes. Predators will lose it as Ekman Larson gets it right back in. Played around here. Half a minute to go. Board battle. This one cleared out. And all the way down the length of the ice, it's rolling towards the net. They wave off the icing. Back through center ice and over the line, Ribeiro. 12 seconds to go. Crowd on their feet, eight seconds, and the Nashville Predators are going to win this hockey game. So the Coyotes no longer with a game in hand on the Dallas Stars, and if the Dallas Stars win tomorrow night in any fashion against the St. Louis Blues, the Coyotes will be eliminated from postseason contention. Well, I'll go Blues. That's all I can say. Coyotes need another favor. This, in my mind, was not a great effort from a team that's fighting for their playoff lives. 29 shots on goal, but when you look at scoring chances, Tyson, you're you're right on. They didn't have enough. And you got to give Nashville a ton of credit in this hockey game. They did everything to play the role of spoiler. Nothing Thomas Grice could do either. I thought he was real good. And uh, also, too, and maybe this is a microcosm of the whole night, Tyson, Coyotes went without a shot on goal with the extra attacker when Thomas Grice was pulled with 2.06 remaining. They just didn't generate enough chances here tonight uh, in Nashville. Consistency is the name of the game. Coyotes went 16 minutes at one point in the middle frame of this hockey game. No shots on net as well. It just wasn't a 60-minute effort. That's a tough one to swallow. Preds win it 2 nothing. Tyson and I will stay right here and break down the game, update the standings, take a look ahead to the playoff push. While Todd Walsh will get reaction, including comments from head coach Dave Tibbet. It's Coyotes Live, presented by CenturyLink, and it begins from Nashville after this short break.